Well, 40 years is a long time in anyone's book, but to work for the same organisation for that amount of time is quite an achievement. University of Wollongong Deputy Vice-Chancellor Academic Professor Rob Castle has done exactly that, and this month is celebrating 40 years at University of Wollongong. Professor Castle, thank you very much for your time today. That's fine. Now, first question, 40 years, you must have seen quite a few changes in that time? Well the growth in the place from a thousand students to its current 23 or 24 to move from a single campus to our international campuses like Dubai to the south coast, it's a totally different environment. Mm -hmm. um, and in a reflection statement that you've just written, you mentioned how Wollongong is sort of set apart by its its idea of its can-do UAW culture and the Wollongong way of doing things. Can you explain to me those and how that's got Wollongong University, the University of Wollongong, to where it is today? Well, look, I think one of the things at Wollongong is that we're not like some of the older universities. We don't have a lot of reserves. But if you want to do something or there's a good idea, there's a lot of support, but usually not much money. Mm. So, you know, if you've got an idea that you've got to really be inventive, you've got to push the envelope, you've got to do what you can. And I think that's permeated the organisation over a long period and I really do think it's one of the things that's made Wollongong distinctive. And you think that's sort of seen us sort of, because we've made, there's been a lot of changes from since 1970, as you say, a thousand students, a sort of a, a college of the University of New South Wales to where it is today. It's a big change, isn't it? And it's, it's happened rather rapidly. Well, it's a huge leap over a short period. I mean, to go from a small college of a very quali good quality university to be ranked in the top 2% of universities in the world to have the sort of research standing we do, we've really had to work at it, we've had to put procedures in place, but essentially we've had to be adaptable, and that's the thing I think Wollongong's been best at. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure there are many sort of many of these over your 40 years here, but are there a particular achievement or highlight, a memory that stands as a highlight to you of your time here, something that stands out for you? I think that the number of awards we've won over the years have certainly been a highlight. They've had a major impact on morale, but to me the highlight was in the 1990s, in 1994, with the first quality round, where Wollongong was ranked in the top 10 universities. The impact of that on the place, on morale, and the way we thought of ourselves and the way the world thought of us, I think that made a huge change. Since then, it's become commonplace to get that sort of ranking, but at the time, it was the first of those sorts of rankings and it really had a major impact on the place and the way we look at ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, and returning, I guess, to your 40 years here, how do you celebrate 40 years? What's the mile? How are you celebrating this milestone? I think they had a cake and it was very <laughs> good too. Um, look, it's one of these things that I wouldn't have made a fuss about, but as it turned out, others noticed it and uh, it's something you just get on with. But it is, it's, it is something to look back on with a great deal of pleasure and uh, I've, great, you know, I've enjoyed my time here. It's been fantastic and uh, it's still going on. And what has kept you here for 40 years? Is there something, a secret recipe that's kept you here for that long? Look, uh, opportunities came here and as I took them, gradually things moved on one from one to another. I mean, I was initially on a six-month contract when I came here. I had no more idea of staying here for a year than uh, 40. So these things are partly happenstance, partly circumstances, and in over the years, though, increasingly very much a conscious decision. Mm -hmm. And if I could get you to get your crystal ball out and gaze into the future, 40 years down the track, having seen where UAW has come from, where do you think we'll be? They're the sorts of questions is almost impossible to answer. I mean, we've, our job now is to consolidate where we are, to continue to grow, and to make sure that we do stay where we are. The gap, though, to the Harvards or the Stamfords or the Oxfords and Cambridges, the long-established, really rich universities, I don't know if we can ever do that. But we certainly, for a university our size, can continue to improve, we can continue to make a contribution, and that really goes down to three things. It's the success of our research, our teaching and our students. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe 40 years, we'll be back here again doing the same interview, celebrating twice the hallmark? Uh, hardly. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Castle, thank you very much for your time today. Thank you.